Hey everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and listen to some Stevie Ray Vaughan. We're going to listen to the title track of the album Texas Flood. This was released in 1983. So Stevie Ray Vaughan is a name that I've definitely heard of. You guys have recommended him in this song and this album and a few others in the comments for a long, long time. But as far as I know, I do not know anything literally about him. I don't think I've heard anything from him. I'm not sure what type of music he makes. I'm just assuming rock, maybe country. Looking at the album cover, I don't know. I'm, ass I'm assuming right now. I'm not reading anything about him or anything like that. But I would like to at least dip my tippity tip toes into the pool, into the waters of Mr. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Like I said, I've heard a lot about him. I believe I've even seen this album cover in some spaces, but as far as I know, I've never heard anything actually from him. So we're going to go ahead and listen to Texas Flood uh, on this album. Hope you guys are having a lovely day. Speaking of Texas, I was looking at the tour for Deftones, and I was hoping that they were gonna be coming here to Florida. They got three shows in Texas. Three shows in Texas, and then they skip right past Florida, hit Atlanta, Georgia. You couldn't have taken one of those shows and just pop, popped it down somewhere here for us. <laughs> just one show. Anyways, it just reminded me because I was looking at Texas. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Really, hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the music. Hope I enjoy the music and hope that you enjoy myself as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. This is Texas Flood by Stevie Ray Vaughan.
you know, I guess I kind of got in a sense what I expected. That was that was bluesy and banging. <laughs> okay. First of all, you guys, uh, and specifically any guitarist out there, which I am not a part of your community, you got to help me out on this one, okay? Because his guitar playing, because I see that he is singing and playing guitar. His guitar playing has some color, some vibrancy, some electricity, some energy. It has flavor. His, his, his playing seasoned, okay? As soon as it starts up, I mean, you're getting a classic blues track, no doubt, right? This is a classic blues song. I don't know if this is the only thing he does. I don't know if his work is more expansive than this or if it really remains more in the classic blues rock and roll kind of groove. I don't know. This is the first song I'm hearing. However, while blues can be a bit of a, a static style sometimes, the heart of blues is in how you express it. Because sometimes the chords are the same. Sometimes the song moves the same, right? Blues typically has a certain pattern to it. It's how you express yourself within that pattern because that's what blues is about. If you're getting to the heart of it, it is the heart of it. So as soon as his guitar starts rearing his head, I'm in. Like I said, it's full of expression. And I didn't see until he did start singing that there was singing on this. Because when the guitar started, I said, well, the guitar is singing already. We don't need vocals. Matter of fact, like, you know, just as I'm listening, I'm thinking if a singer comes in, it might ruin it. It may have a chance of ruining it. But his singing was really good. He was on point. His singing was great. I enjoyed that. And then he stopped singing for a while and got into this solo. I don't know how long it lasted. I didn't really look at it. I'm guessing two minutes at least. I mean, it's a five, it's a five minute track. So I'm guessing at least two minutes out of that was his solo. And that is really where the palette opened up. That is really where the Pandora's box of Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar playing opened up. And like I said, this is for you guitarist. Is that solo hard? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't even begin to say, you know, I can't say whether it's hard or not. It sounds difficult to me. And if not for the actual playing, because you may be able to figure out and play the same notes. There's certain movements and things that he's throwing in there. He's flicking his wrist a little bit in there and throwing in some of that little bit of finesse, right? <laughs> The wah, 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 and then the quick wow like and then there's some other things in there like he's just throwing in these little details that take you out of the solo for a second and I mean that in a good way but they take you out of the solo and just make you think or at least make me think like wow what did, what is he doing there makes me like think what is he doing how did he get that sound I thought that was really nice I would like to at least have an idea of like what else he does, you know, perhaps outside of a general blues format, but that was good. That solo was, was awesome. Like I said, full of color, full of expression. That was fantastic. I almost said fantabulous, but <laughs> that's not a word. Uh, let's get into these lyrics here. Well, it's flooding down in Texas. All of the phone t telephone lines are down. You better call EL up. Well, it's flooding down in Texas. All the telephone lines are down, and I've been trying to call my baby, Lord, and I can't get a single sound. Well, dark clouds are rolling in, man. I'm standing out in the rain. Dark clouds are rolling in. I'm standing out in the rain. Yeah, flood water keep a rolling. Man, it's about to drive poor me insane. Well, I'm leaving you, baby. Lord, I'm going to go back home to stay. I'm leaving you, baby. I'm going back home to stay. Well, back home, there's no floods or tornadoes, baby, and the sun shines every day. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> the relationship's not going quite right. I don't think it's literally flooding in Texas, but I think their relationship is in some deep water. You know? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to try to stop the track. You can let me know in the comments down below. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the music first and foremost. 
and I hope you enjoyed my cousin, my cousin, my presence. I was, I said presence and I was going to say company came together. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'll see you later. Bye.